to Sunset Crater Volcano. And uh, this is about a 20 minute drive outside of Flagstaff. So uh, when you come up here, you can also go to the Wapaki uh, Native American site. And we'll look to do that too. So we're just cruising around. Sunset Crater is an extinct cinder cone located in the San Francisco volcanic field. Here we go, driving around Sunset Crater. Just so you guys know, Woo. when you come up here, camping is first come first serve up here in the uh, Sunset Crater uh, Park here. And uh, we're headed towards the ruins, Wupataki. Talky, I don't know exactly how to say it, so someone correct me in the comments, please. But yeah, old extinct volcano. Here's a really cool lava hike if you guys are doing. Temperature outside is 86 degrees, so it's very tolerable. But this is a very interesting geo, geological, volcanology site. in the distance there you can see down towards the painted desert and the petrified forest area if you go beyond that that's where monument valley is Pick up a pair of binoculars if you want, you can really explore off these mountain views. And after we wrap up at Sunset Crater, we head down to the actual archaeological site known as Wu Pot Key. You know, a lot of people like to travel all around the world to find the archaeological sites, but little do they know, in the American Southwest, you can find some amazing archaeological sites. Uh, just across this region here, between the Navajo, the Hopi, the Anasazi, you can see places like Mesa Verde, Canyon de Chez, this location here. But I just want to let you guys know, you don't have to go halfway around the world to find amazing archaeological sites. Here's a look at how it used to look. You can see the big house, the Quiva, and then see that house right over there, which you can kind of see. If you zoom in. So let me read you a little snippet out of the pamphlet that you get at the visitor center. It says, the people living just northeast of what is now Flagstaff, Arizona, must have been warned by tremors before debris exploded from the ground and rained down on their pit houses. The lava flows and erupting cinders that followed forced these farmers to vacate the rocky lands they had cultivated for 400 years. So this area was uh, inhabited before the volcanic eruption took place. And then when it took place, it changed the whole 
landscape and everything that was going on there, and it took a while for the vegetation to grow back, which you now see it is coming back. One of the things I certainly appreciated about this archeological site and these Pueblos was the symmetry of the actual structures and how the rocks are stacked on top of each other. And as I mentioned in my other video, when you actually go inside these structures, because it's made of stone, it does feel cooler inside of the actual structure when you go in there. So it'll be 100 degrees outside, but it's about 20 degrees, maybe even 25 degrees cooler inside because the stone does definitely cool it down when it's completely insulated. Just about this particular archaeological site was their selection of the geological region that they picked where you could tell the rivers or the tributaries came together right here and not only were these people farmers, but they also played games, as you can see as evidenced by this ball court. Another cool thing you'll see down here is this blowhole that's formed by pressure from inside the earth that does release air out into the atmosphere. Ball court. Taki. So in this archeological natural preserve here, there are three different sites. We went to two of them. So we went to Wupaki and we also went over here to Lamaki. And this one's actually a pretty good site also if you guys wanna check out another one and let's show you guys around. Wow, look at that. You can see San Francisco Peak, this nice Pueblo right here.
and thanks again for watching these videos from around Arizona. Be sure to watch some of our other videos that we have on this channel from around Sedona and Flagstaff, Grand Canyon, if you're interested. And please do subscribe to this channel if it's your first time here. We'll see you on the next one.